People are constantly racing against time and are in search for that elusive fountain of youth, which begs the question, why do we die? Do we have to? And what's the point of our existence? Some might say it's to feel. It's as vital as breath. And without it, without love, without anger, without sorrow, breath is just a clock. Ticking. Well, what if I were to tell you that right now, in this moment, in a matter of minutes, a powerful, patented, non surgical procedure will drastically reduce the rate at which you age, making you practically immortal? Scientists promise that this safe, effective procedure will change human civilization for generations to come. You now have the ability to live forever. But the real question is would you want to? Developed quite the technology here at Brain Tech. Right. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the uh, <clears throat> this device here? And just well, what the hack does is that it takes the brain capacity of the average Joe and it pushes it to you know limits that it, it couldn't have gone through before. It reaches, it truly reaches his maximum potential. Everyone's talking about it. Uh, it's called the hack, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, the hyper age control, control chamber. chamber. Yep. Very familiar with it, yes. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I think it's great. I really do. I don't like it. Don't like the sound of it. it it's. It's. So it just sounds so cool. Like, yeah, yeah. You're going to the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> you know, are you familiar with that film, that like Benjamin Buttons? Right. Now, right. Do, do you see this as being something like that where. You're at this ripe old age of 90, 100, right. and would it reverse the aging process or would it just kind of just remain stuck at that? What it does is that it preserves your body. The years will go by, the years will go by, the years will go by. We are playing God here. and To prolong somebody's life for hundreds of years, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it goes against every rule of nature. Uh, the, the earth won't be able to sustain a, a population that won't die. You know, maybe there's a, a scientist yeah. and maybe they have a, a brilliant brain and maybe that's the person who's, you know, working towards this technology that maybe could save us. Their, could their you life. imagine having the ability to preserve such great minds like Einstein? Exactly, and that, that's the point I'm trying to make is, yeah. you know, you have someone like that with such a brilliant mind and they're only here for such a short time. What if? You know, we, we extend the life expectancy of those people. But couldn't you also argue the other way around? Would you necessarily want a forever Hitler? Well, it's a moral issue. My son and I, we are at odds as to how long a person should habitate on this earth. Hypothetically speaking, and of course I'm just playing the devil's advocate here, as we've come to know in civilization, uh, we, we fall in love with a new technology, with a, a, a new revelation in medical science, only to later find out that things aren't so 100% um, positive. And um, mm -hmm. what if there are some side effects that surface? Is that something that you're prepared to handle? I guess what I'm most apprehensive about is uh, the idea of living for 300 years is, is incredible, but, but not alone. Sometimes I feel that I've wasted my time. Like, like all these morals I have instilled by the grace of God. But if you really do believe in a God, you believe that he is, you know, is all powerful, you know, and, and he has a plan for all of us and he, 
you know, or she, you know, controls everything that's going on in the world, right? They always say everything happens for a reason and God works in mysterious ways. Well, if this device exists, I mean, doesn't it only exist because God is allowing someone to create it and allowing it to, to be out there? Why wouldn't you want to go on and, and see just the beautiful world just evolve around you? That we can differ, we can butt heads on this issue. It, it, it's beyond my comprehension. Yeah, he doesn't want to hear it. Um, I have to respect his decision. When my grandfather passed away, I remember you know, how hard it was for my dad. And uh, you know, I mean, to this day, it's, it's still something that it, he's not over it. I hope he respects mine. It was just so hard. When we were at BrainTech developing the hack, we were consumed by this idea, this particular idea, and how can you better yourself as, as a human, you know? Your brain has a, a, a specific timeline. Oh. <gasps>